Um, and let's see. So write a program that asks the user to enter values for mass and velocity, and then call the kinetic energy function to get the object um, kinetic energy. So we can go ahead and display it now. In main, we can just go ahead and display it. You can create a function that just displays the output you can, um, or you can just display it here. Um, just because this fun uh, program is all about functions, let's do that. Let's define a function that's just going to go ahead and print answer. So let's call it print answer. It's going to accept in the answer I should pr uh, It's going to accept as an argument the answer I should print. So I'm going to define an, the an, uh, an answer variable in in this function as a as a parameter because it's going to accept in an, an, an answer, right? So when it accepts in an answer, let's go ahead and print that answer. So print. Let's just let's say um, let's let's have let's add a, add a message to it and say the kinetic energy. Okay, so actually, let's define this print, uh, print answer to accept in three arguments. So let's define three parameters. It's, it's, it should first of all accept in the user mass, the user uh, velocity, or, or a user velocity, and an answer, right? So user mass, user velocity, don't, don't confuse these names, okay? Again, I said that it, it, the variables over here, the scope of these variables, are only within your functions. They don't go anywhere else. So this user mass is the same as, is, is different from this user mass. This user mass it's, is only available in this function. This user mass is only available in this function. Same with this one. It's only available in this function. Same with this one. Only available in this function. They are not the same. Although they look the same, or although they have the same name, they are considered all different because they are in different functions. Right, so the reason why I'm doing this is because so we can actually display all of them in the, in the print function. So the kinetic energy, okay, let's see, the kinetic energy with mass, okay, now that's going to be our first argument, okay. Second argument is user mass. So the kinetic energy with mass, this, and then user mass. And then let's have another string and say and velocity and velocity user velocity and then another string and say s and then another um, another argument which is going to be our answer. Or, if, if, or just the answer over here. Let's change the, the name to um, kinetic energy because that's that, that answer is the kinetic energy. So let's see kinetic energy. Now I don't know if you can see this line here. This line is, is like a guideline for me to not exceed eighty characters on a line. Okay, so it's it's guiding me over here to not exceed eighty char characters on a line. It's a Python standard to not exceed 80 characters on the line, so I'm going to go ahead and use this guideline to help me. So I'm going to break this line into two, and I can break it somewhere around here or, or somewhere around here. So before I break anything in Python, you have to type in a backslash. Before you break anything in Python, type in a backslash, and you can, you can break it. Hit enter here to break it. All right, so now you can see I've not exceeded this line here, so I'm good. All right, so, the, so when you pass an argument into the print function this way, they are displayed with a space separate in them. So this is going to be displayed as the kinetic the kinetic energy, right? I forgot that. The, the kinetic energy. I need to adjust this. Instead of breaking it here, let's break it somewhere around here. Type in a backslash, hit enter. Bring this back up. All right. All right. So the kinetic energy with mass, use a mass. All right. So th this is going to be because I mentioned that um, they are displayed with spaces separate in them when you, when you pass in arguments to the, print, to the print function this way. So it's going to be displayed as the kinetic energy with mass, space, user mass, space, and velocity, space, user velocity, space, s, space, kinetic energy. All right. We would have to pr probably format a few things, right? We would have to pr format a few things. So we'll do, we'll do that in a second. Uh, let's see over here. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and oh, now, now this kinetic energy, um, it's just a parameter name, right? Again, the scope of this kinetic energy is just within this. It's different from this kinetic energy, different from the name of the method, the name of the function. Um, so yeah, 
So now that, now that we have the kinetic energy, uh, basically all the details, the user mass, user velocity, and the kinetic energy, we can basically call print, let's change this to print details. And then we can we can print the details, and then let's go ahead and call it. Oops. Um, in main, we can call it here. We can call it and say print details. And print details accepting the user mass, which we have stored here in user mass. It also accepting the user velocity, which we have here stored as user velocity. And it accepts also the kinetic energy, which we have calculated here using the kinetic energy function. So I'm going to also paste that here. So print, print details is going to go ahead and print this. All right. So now let's try to run this and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and save this in where I normally save all the Python programs, which is on the desktop. There's a shortcut over there. So desktop over here. All right, so top to five. I'm going to go ahead and save this as kineticenergy.py. Well, before that, let's go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to go ahead and call it kinetic energy. And then save this as, as uh, kinetic energy dot, dot pi. All right, so let's see if we have any errors, first of all. Let's see. OK, so nothing is happening. Like I always forget this. All right, so nothing is happening because we've only defined the functions. We haven't called them. OK, now if you just define the functions, nothing happens. It, it only defines it, and then that's all. But if you want anything to happen, you have to call the functions, right, for the, for the code inside of them to, to run. Now, because we called everything, because main is our main program, or is, our, is, our, is everything, main is basically calling all these functions and then having them interact with each other. So since we defined main, we have to also go ahead and call it if we need it, right? So let's call it. That's why nothing was happening. So let's go ahead and call main um, without any define, because we've already defined it. We're just calling it to see what happens in the code. So now let's run this and see what happens. I says, please enter a mass. I'm going to enter, let's say, 45. Please enter velo the velocity. I'm going to enter 6. I hit enter. OK, we have an error. Let's see what happens or what is happening. It says kinetic energy is not defined. All right, let's see what, what's, what it's saying here. Kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy. All right, let's try this again. Type in something here. I didn't really see what was wrong. Let's see. Um, saying kinetic energy is not defined. Um, it, it probably wants us to define it with a value. But since this is going to accept an value, it wants to probably have its, its initial value. So let's 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 go ahead and create a variable called kinetic energy. Same same thing, but let's set its initial value to zero. So now it's defined over here. So it's we're basically replacing or overwriting its its original value. Let's try this. Type in five. Type in six. Kinetic energy is not defined. Kinetic. All right, let's see what's the problem over here. Is it because, let's see. All right, so we are calling the kinetic energy function. It's uh, probably this. Um, let's see if I named it the same way. Kinetic energy. Okay, that, so that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Um, so yeah, I was wondering. We don't need this. We don't have to define it, uh, define it and set it to zero. It's because th I defined the function, so we didn't have to do that. I define the function as kinetic energy, right? Over here, I called it as, as kinetic energy. I don't need the C here. That's why it's saying it doesn't know what it is. It's not defined. All right, so let's do that. And I didn't read it. it, it, it should, um, I, I'm sure it said kin kinetic energy, right? I didn't. I read it as kinet kinetic energy was not defined. All right, so please enter the mass. Let's type in 5 velocity. Let's, let's, let's type in 6. All right, let's see. Another error. Local variable kinetic energy reference before assignment. Okay, so again, so I guess we have to do that, right? Because it needs, it needs, um, it needs its initial value. It, it, it wants the val that variable declared with an initial value, so it knows, it knows what it is, all right? 
over here. It's saying that it's uh, reference without assigning uh, assignment. All right, so let's do that. Let's create the kinetic energy. I, I guess we needed that now. Let's create the kinetic energy function um, variable here. I'm typing is bad. I'm sorry. Set it to zero. So now it knows what it is. So it shouldn't complain. I mean, if it does, then it's probably something different. All right. So four, five. Oops. Okay. Another a, a different uh, error. Int object is not is not callable. All right. Let's see. Int is not callable. Where is it using int? Where is it using int? Let's let me just run it again to see where it works. Int is not callable. Kinetic energy. Hmm. Let's try to see what's wrong here. Probably missing something very trivial. Okay, we define the user mass, we define the user velocity. It calculates the kinetic energy. And then we are returning it here. And it's saying on this line, so it has something to do with the method because it's trying to um, figure out int object is not called, but it's probably something that I'm missing. Let's see the value of this 2.0. 2.0. That's what I typed right. Is this something to do with the formula? Let me, let me just do something here. Hold on a second. Just wanted to see if it's with the, with the, with the math module. OK, so it's not that. Um, perhaps it is, but I don't think so far. Oops. All right. Oh, it's probably because you know, let's change the name. Let's change this. this um, let's change this name to uh, to to kinetic energy um, c calculated. All right. Let's just let's see something here. And then over here, kinetic energy calculated. We are passing it here. Okay. So that that wasn't a problem too. All right. So let's um, do that. Okay, let's see. Um, so, um, so bear with me as I try to go through this to try to figure out what's wrong here. Int object is not comp probably something you know silly I'm missing. Int object. Oh well, we well. Let's see. This is a float. That's a float. So, so that's not. Those are not integers. Hold on one second. Um, I'll just I'll take my time and go through this, and try to figure out what it is. Let's see. Let me go ahead and change this. Okay, 